humans have managed to accomplish a lot in a relatively short time. We've already sent humans to live in space and to the moon. We've developed large and very sophisticated telescopes that have been able to reach some of the most remote places in space. Many organisations have decided to take it a step further. The European Space Agency, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, and NASA have been working very hard to find if we're completely alone. Organisations are now sending probes and rovers to distant planets, in order to see if it hosts life. These missions have piqued the interest of millions of people worldwide, and due to our technology and the various photographs that get sent back, it's caused some to do a little digging of their own. It seems though that all this has done is worked against the organisations, as people from various countries have managed to find some mysterious anomalies on and around planets in our solar system. One of the most interesting discoveries is that of the Mars Tunnels. This discovery doesn't get much attention, but when it was discovered back in 1999, many people couldn't wrap their head around what the Mars Global Surveyor had captured. When the photographs started to get seen, various theories were put forward to try and explain them. One that received the most attention was that these photographs showed some type of ancient tunnel system that had been built on the Red Planet. This for some was the proof they'd been looking for, and that these structures were proof that an ancient civilization had once called this place home. The Mars Orbiter Surveyor was launched on the 7th of November 1996. It had taken years to build this incredible piece of equipment, but it's noted by NASA as being the first successful mission to the Red Planet in over 20 years. The orbiter finally reached the Red Planet back in March of 1999, where it would then go on to map the terrain from a low altitude. Since this date it sent back thousands of images, interestingly many of which haven't been studied by researchers or scientists and which some say do hide interesting anomalies that could help us understand the planet's environment better. This early surveyor was able to tell scientists a lot about Mars' surface, environment, atmosphere and interior. The camera that was on the Mars orbiter was able to send back some incredible images that would help us understand how we would approach this planet in the future when it came to missions. During this mission though, the spacecraft sent back some interesting photographs that some say can't be explained using natural explanations. As mentioned, one of the most interesting ones is that of the Mars glass tunnels. These mysterious tunnels have been described as looking like large, impressive structures that don't naturally occur on the planet. They have the typical shape of what you'd expect a tunnel to look like, and are partially covered by the surface's terrain causing some to suggest that these structures are tens of thousands of years old. Interestingly, other high-quality photographs shows these tunnels as looking partially transparent. This was one of the first things that people noticed about them, with some saying that because of this translucent-like quality it made them stand out against the Martian backdrop. There's even others that went down a different route and suggested that what we're looking at could have been a creature while others said that what we're looking at could be an ancient graveyard. This theory comes about after some compared the structures as looking like whale ribs and bones that are sometimes discovered in cold regions on our planet. Another idea is that these tunnel-like systems were created by giant iceworms. Iceworms are known to live in gravel beds or the banks of glacial ice. Some have suggested that this is what we're seeing here but on a much larger scale again suggesting that many years ago these creatures existed and carved out these large tunnels. However, some have said this doesn't explain why the tubes appear to be partially transparent, and this has caused some to put forward the idea these were created by intelligent beings. Space agencies have said though these are not tunnels, but rather are natural dunes that have developed over the years. NASA even came forward and backed up this statement. David C. Perry of Earth and Space Sciences Division of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory said that there's nothing mysterious about these glass tunnel anomalies and that what we're looking at is just a Martian dune. Dr. Perry is respected in his field, but some have disagreed with this statement, especially when they've gone on to compare the alleged anomalies with Mars dunes, saying that the two are not similar. Some even went forward to say that David hadn't viewed the zoomed-in images, 
and just received the original image that looks much different to the cropped version. In reality, the discovery has been at the center of an interesting discussion, which is, is there life on Mars? Regardless, it seems that believers are sticking to the idea that these are genuine tunnels, either created or dug out by something living on the red planet. Mars is the planet that people look to for life, perhaps because it's within reach and that is always being featured in the news. Interestingly, NASA themselves have also dropped hints of this according to those who've looked into the topic. For example, going back a few months ago, one story that made the news came from one of NASA's chief scientists. NASA will soon be traveling to Mars in order to drill deep in the rocks. This is in the hopes of finding evidence of living organisms on the red planet. Mars could be home to current life, as the space agency has expressed much interest in the planet over the years, along with upcoming space agency SpaceX, who have said they plan to put humans on the red planet within the next few years. Dr. Jim Green is the man who came forward and said the statement, and he thinks this mission could be a real success in finding life on Mars. However, he has said that he doesn't think people of our planet would be ready for the news. It's no secret that we've managed to accomplish a lot in a relatively short amount of time, and in regards to space, although it's massive, we have discovered some incredible things in recent years. It's been suggested by the scientists that this mission will likely be going on for the next few years, and that it will take some time to find out if there really is life on Mars. Dr. Green said the following about the upcoming mission. I've been worried about that because I think we're close to finding it, and making some announcements. It will start a whole new line of thinking. I don't think we're prepared for the results. Interestingly, some have said they think we're close to discovering life on other planets, and they say this because it seems that space agencies are gearing up to explore space more. They use SpaceX and Space Force as an example and say they think Space Force was established because they think they're trying to tell us something. Other countries have shown a massive interest in space. This includes places like China, who not too long ago made history by landing on the dark side of the moon. It's not just NASA who will be digging into the Martian surface. It's also reported that the European Space Agency along with Russia will also be heading to Mars, and their main goal is to find life saying they're hopeful and open to the idea that life could be on Mars. NASA's Mars 2020 rover will be sent to the planet with one mission, and that's to find life. Researchers have said it will be equipped with the newest technology that will help aid in this discovery, and that once it's collected samples, it will be sent back to Earth. Dr. Green has said he's excited for this next step and that he wished the European Space Agency and Russia the best of luck in their mission. Dr. Green went on to say that if we discovered life, it would be an incredible milestone, but it would also lead to many questions that we're not able to answer. For example, how did life get there? Are we related in some way and how long has it been there? Mars 2020 has a planned launch on the 30th of July 2020 and will hopefully touch down on Mars on the 18th of February 2021. Researchers now know that water exists on Mars, with scientists saying they think this lake sits under the planet's south polar ice camp, and it's around 12 miles or 20 kilometers across. So what do you think of the mysterious tunnels that were discovered back in 1999? Do you think they're artificial and were made by intelligent life? Or do you believe that these structures are dunes that naturally form on the red planet? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.